Today we're having our annual Art on the Trail, and as you can see, we've got local artists from uh, the area set up, and they're selling all kinds of things, jewelry, uh, wooden things, uh, artwork, just it's unbelievable. Beautiful windows that people uh, decorated, clothes. It's just a town full of uh, fun today. For a beautiful little girl. Can you turn just a tiny bit? Turn the other way. See, that one, it actually, what it is, I mean, it's just my imagination, but aren't they out at an angle? Greenville Food Crisis Ministry, when families in need come into the food crisis ministry, uh, the children get quilts. Uh, we take about 20 a month to, to them, and they are given out rapidly. They go out the door quickly. But this is our, our, one of our community projects. We also do tote bags for Safe Harbor. And today there is also a uh, quilt exhibit at the library with 71 quilts. Good morning, folks. How are y'all doing? Doing great. How are you? Doing wonderful. Doing good. I'm, I'm next yes. to one. Oh. oh. <laughs> I didn't get this. I didn't get this old being stupid. All glass fusing. So what I do is I cut it all out and then I fuse it in a kiln. I'm just knitting. She's making these scarves. The scarves. <laughs> we have, we have, you know, the small one. So whatever size you want. Okay. Uh, you can do it for you. Okay. Yeah. Tell me which one. Kind of look there. Yeah. Tell me which one. Look there. It's called Signs of Struggle, and the struggles are with his faith. He's lost his family in a car wreck down in Georgia where he lives, and about a year and a half later, he gives up on trying to make it down there, and he moves back to the home state of Iowa, and he's still hurting, and he's driving in the country one day, and he sees a bloody, beautiful woman running down a country lane, and he thinks, I've got enough problems, I'm not going to help her, but he does, and turns out her husband's been run over and bled to death. Looks like an accident. It's, it's very easy. It has a nail in the back. You can open them from the side like that to clean them out. You know, it's uh, it's fully functional, even though it is a novelty on the front. It's fully functional as, as a, a working birdhouse. And to close it up, you just insert the nail right back in, and then it closes the closes the door right here. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Good evening or afternoon and welcome to the uh, Art on the Trail Festival. I'm the Trail Potter. My studio is directly behind here. I've been here for about three months. I've got three wheels and two kilns. I teach some classes of all ages. The youngest is three, my little girl. I've also got a 75 year old student that's hand building and on the wheel. I've got some stuff right here that's for sale. I've got everything is functional. I've got soup bowls with cracker pouches, some colander bowls or berry bowls to wash your grapes or strawberries out in. I've got some little tea. Uh, copper foil that I apply to the edge of the glass before I solder it all together. And then I apply a solder bead on everything. And then I give it an acid bath to make it black. Uh, well, <laughs> this is going to be 
uh, what they call an egg basket and I'm putting in uh, some more ribs so that I can continue weaving and building on the basket because I like small spaces between my Here, just make a drive them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I know. I like texture, so my art involves a lot of uh, incorporating inorganic and organic materials, bark, uh, feathers, cut canvas, sand, a lot of different things I work into the mediums because I like art that you can feel, that you want to touch. Friendly. I know. Yeah, we, well, we cut it into the bank. We actually cut the rain. They unscrew so you take the findings and jewels off the additional. Okay. Thank you. Color work is done in watercolors. The black and whites are from field sketches I've done in soft pencil. It's all outdoor work uh, from fish to birds to dogs. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Well, it's a scratch board. So it's a masonite board, then a layer of white clay, and then a layer of black India ink. And then what I do from there is I scratch off the image and add color if I want to, or if I don't want to. Make it as saturated as I want, or just barely there. You want me to look meaner? <laughs> I'm a good witch.